But one Bay Area company has come up with a unique invention to mop up spills like the one in Texas. Their main component, human hair, and it doesn't end there. In tonight's Project Earth, our Ann Makovic shows us how our locks, yes, could be the next big thing in the fashion industry. There is a quiet movement going on in the fashion world. It's less about what's trendy and more about the material. At the root of it, human hair. It's sweeping the runway and challenging our sense of style. Even if it's your own hair, you don't even want to look at it on the floor, you know? You don't even want to touch it. Zofia Kolar runs a startup called Human Material Loop. She goes to salons and barber shops, scooping up discarded hair. With the help of scientists and engineers, those strands are turned into this sturdy fibers that get sewn into couture pieces. We have developed a few knitted pieces, also woven pieces, so that we can really also show, okay, this can be an alternative to acrylic fibers or wool fibers. The effort is an attempt to reduce the environmental impacts of the fashion world. The industry consumes a massive amount of water. It takes 700 gallons to produce just one cotton shirt, compared to the human hair method, which uses no water. From the runway to a chic haircut in San Francisco. Well, I've been cutting hair for about 20 years. Wielding the scissors, creative stylist Lisa Pomo. Wow. Her client, Philip Lamb. But this is no ordinary haircut. The hair usually goes to oil spill cleanup mats. The strands of hair cut from Philip's head are carefully collected. All the hair is spread out. And then turned into a hair mat, thanks to a San Francisco nonprofit called Matter of Trust. First thing we can do with this is felt these fibers into mats that can go into storm drains and uh, uh, contaminated reservoirs and, um, and filter out all the petrochemicals. The hair mats were invented by stylist Phil McCrory, who, while washing the oily hair of a client, saw a TV report on the 1989 Exxon Valdez oil spill in Alaska. It just clicked for him. Wait, hair collects oil. I cut hair every day. My garbage looks like this. It's just all hair, and it could be going to use to soak up oil spills. This is an entire bag of hair. It's just 13 pounds. And so here we just have long hair, and it's all loose. It's not stuck together at all. You can just pull it apart. Matter of Trust collects hair, fur, wool, and fleece, then uses a special felting machine to create incredibly strong hair mats. And just like that, we have a completed hair mat. We'll usually put it through once or twice more. The mats are used to clean up hundreds of oil spills in U.S. waters, including the 2007 incident involving the Costco Busan cargo ship that accidentally hit the Bay Bridge and spilled 58,000 gallons of fuel into the bay. The oil industry is one of the major contributors to global warming and climate change. Looks good, and it's good cause. Totally awesome. Awesome in that instead of ending up in a landfill, the free hair is the newest sustainable fabric, saving water and also cleaning up the environment one lock at a time. Amazing hair can hold up to five times its weight in oil.